Hi Bampton fans and welcome to test number 737, 737 rackets, it's unbelievable how time flies to be honest. This is the Mizuno JPX limited edition speed Bampton racket review. So who are we and what do we do? We test Bampton equipment like strings, shuttlecocks, shoes and of course lots of rackets over 750 in actual fact rackets tested on our site in the, and in great detail detail like you've never seen before if you go to our website and go onto the year zone you can sign in and see all this information for free you can also advertise your club for free and you can also advertise any forthcoming tournaments for free we do ask of you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our website, press the like button, and if you can afford it, please do donate whatever you can so we can keep our work going forward. Thank you. We sell this racket at £130. We'll ship it from the UK or from Asia, depending on what works out best for you, the customer. Otherwise, availability is pretty difficult. I think in some Japan it's quite easy, but other areas of the world it's really quite hard to get hold of these rackets. Manufacturer specs on this it's a 4U racket. Its balance point is said to be 295, so that's just slightly bearing towards the head. It is a mid a flex shaft with a G5 grip, so a grip is G5, and maximum string tension 30 pounds made in China. E zone specs to compare 87.1 grams the weight. Bearing head heavy at 308, slightly head heavier than uh, Mizuno's measurements, and it has a medium flex shaft. Now, you know, there's a lot of talk about rackets produced in Taiwan, rackets produced in Japan, this one's produced in China, it's produced really, really well. You wouldn't be able to tell, I'm telling you, if you were standing next to me right now and I gave you this, and I gave you a uh, Mizuno Altius O3 control made in Taiwan or a Astrox 100ZZ, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. There's nothing about this. In every detail they've produced, it's absolutely brilliant. It's produced brilliantly. Um, don't let the fact that it's produced in China put you off, is what I would say. Take a look at these JPEGs and see what you think for yourself. Okay, so how does this racket play well to start with it scored a good score in the uh ease i mean to give you an idea we only stock rackets that score 80 ish so 78 perhaps 77 or more out of 100 we tend not to stock rackets that score less than that so anything you're buying off the uh of our racket sale site is going to be of good decent quality and scored well um in terms of how this racket plays it feels heavier than one might expect for a 4U racket. There's certainly a lot lighter, quicker feeling rackets than this, the Black Panther 4U, for example. Um, it's a medium flex racket in terms of its playability. It feels medium to use. It doesn't feel really stiff or really flexible, but I think the problem with it for us was airspeed felt slower the one was expecting it to feel. We wanted it to, you know, when you pick up a 4U racket, okay, some way 86, some way 88. There's all sorts of different measurements we've seen over the years, but 87.1 grams, uh, you know, you would expect it to feel faster than it actually does. In terms of its strengths, it does offer a good drive speed. So it's a bit like the, not as good as the Honor S6, which is also a 4U racket. But when you hit the shuttle, there was a nice response from the shuttle. You got a really good, flat, solid, accurate drive off this racket. Um, the overhead shots clears nice and easy. Really good for backhand clears. Really quite easy to get those forehand clears going. Just the wrist, wrist required, not much arm or shoulder required to get the clears to move. Um, and it was actually tested very well for control. It's, you know, nice levels of control. Now, in terms of the smash, it has got smash power. The E-Zone smash test was not that impressive, but 
once you start to time in, I think the, the, the bite size on the head is fairly small. Once you start to time in, you do start to see some power come, but it's actually too much effort every time. So every time you're gonna hit 10 shots with this racket, 10 smash shots, the problem I think you're gonna have is getting that sweet spot right, getting full 10 powerful smashes off is going to be difficult. I think you're going to be looking at a 50-50 ratio. You're going to get 50 full blast shots off and 50% 50, 50 of them are going to be less than the full power you're capable of producing because if you've not hit it quite right, you know, it takes a fair bit of effort to get it moving and all those signing of problems. Because of that, I'm going to say, first of all, beginners just forget about using this racket. I don't think it's suitable. I'd rather, if you, you need a head heavy, heavy racket, but you're a beginner, you need the extra weight to get the shot to move, then you're better off looking at the Mizuno JPX V edition. This particular JPX, I would say it's, uh, for singles players, I'm going to say yes, because it does do very good with it's very good at overhead and it is good control so you get the drops in nicely you get the overhead shots in quite nicely you may have to work hard to get your timing right on the smashes but i think i'm gonna say no to the doubles because there's just too much out there that's better than it and i don't understand why i'd be saying yes to it you know five pound more you can get the altius mizuno altius uh, o3 control or o3 power both are better for doubles than this racket, significantly better. And if I really wanted a JPX racket, and I wanted a head heavy racket, and I was a Astrox 100 ZZ fan, or, one, or an Astrox 99 fan, and I wanted something like that, I'd still go for the V edition, because that's a harder core, heavier, head heavy racket. You know, you're gonna, if you're the kind of person who's got all the muscle, you've got the technique, you've got the experience, you know how to produce the power, that's probably gonna be better for you. So it kind of slots into nowhere, this JPX speed and for that reason I'm going to say for doubles we're going to give it a thumbs down for singles we're going to give it the thumbs up now if you want to see the smash the maneuver shot for this racket please go across the e-zone it's free of charge sign in all of you who are asking comparative questions like how does it compare to this racket to another racket go to the e-zone that will answer the questions a lot better for you um, if you want to advertise your club, it's free on the Badminton Ranking Review platform. If you want to advertise a tournament, it's free of charge too. Um, if you're going to go to the e-zone, use a desktop or a laptop. And mobile phones don't work great at the moment. There's just too much info. We put so much info into the e-zone, putting it onto a little screen. It's just hard. It just doesn't. It's much much harder to read and understand what you're looking at on a phone. I know a lot of Asia use phones and that is something we're going to address with an app down the road. Hopefully this year, but we'll try our best. We'll see. It's hard at the moment in the UK to do anything related to badminton. Outside of that, a lot of love from Badminton Racket Review to all of you. We love you too. There's so much love we receive, so much positivity we receive. We don't mind the criticism we get you know because some of it is very fair you know we do miss if we miss something or you've got a suggestion for us we can we love all that we can tell we're not here to say we, we're, we're not the gods of badminton you guys are everything we do this for you the badminton community the e-zone is built for the badminton community badminton ranking review is here to serve the badminton community so please do keep it the sharing do keep it the likes do keep it the subscriptions it's really really appreciated thanks so much we'll see you on the next video